Bonjour la douce. Hey everybody. So today, I want to talk about how I get into into things and then take it far too far. I discussed this a little bit yesterday, but I want to specifically talk about this. For one thing, a final project for your AP English class should not give you a reason to write down like 60 pages worth of wide rule paper to do it. Granted, our project was to discuss the human condition, but <laughs> most people just did a, a PowerPoint and left it at that. I, on the other hand, uh, I wrote a short story. And yes, I used 30 front and back of wide roll paper to do it. It was actually a pretty good story. I still like it. I don't cringe at it. I love the idea of it. But I take a little thing and then take it too far. That project is only one example. Later, earlier actually, in that year, we did a project for Hamlet. We had to do a personal reaction to Hamlet. I wrote a screenplay. I wrote a one act pro play over break for that project. The first assignment for that AP English class was to <laughs> it was to write take an author and write an introduction to a book in that author's style. So I wrote a sonnet from Shakespeare's style. <laughs> did I have to? No. No, no, I did not. I could have done something way easier than that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I take things way too far. I take things. I take a little idea and then BAM! Example number four now. And this has nothing to do with the class. It's this YouTube channel. I put on makeup for this video specifically. I did not put on makeup today. I did it like five minutes ago before I started film filming. <laughs> the fact that I also upload every day rather than something like once a week is another indication of how I just take things far too far. Another way is actually in general my writing. Um, I'm writing a fan fiction right now, but I've talked about for the past three days. <laughs> um, this is the notebook I'm writing it in. For one thing, do you see how much paper I have used out of this notebook? And um, the story Page 39 of the story, and I'm on chapter 6. I just started chapter 6. Yep. It's a fan fiction. I'm not being graded on it. I have no reason to put so much effort into something. I uploaded three chapters within a week. What? That's, that's not how Megan does things. That's not how I do things. <laughs> Exhibit A of how that's not normal for me. Um, I procrastinate everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Eventually, I just give up and wait and wait and then panic and do things really, really quickly. An example of this is I had a two-page essay to write for a class this semester. And uh, we had two classes that day, one in the morning, and the class where it was due was in the afternoon. We went through the first class, and I hadn't started it yet. 
I took the time from that class to when that class started to do a two-page essay in French. Let me give you a little bit of a breakdown on what that actually was. That was two hours and I ate lunch. How did I do it? I have no clue. And I haven't been graded on it yet, so who knows how well I did on that. <laughs> uh, other example, most of my French homework in general at Elon was not done until the last minute. Uh, my roommate and best friend can tell you that. Because she'll text me saying, Hey, have you started this yet? I'm having trouble with this in the directions. I don't know if we're supposed to do this or this and i'm sitting here like i haven't even looked at the assignment chica <laughs> it's that bad it's that bad so uh another indication is most of my fan fictions stop after about chapter three and again i wind up just not doing it more i just kind of stop evidence is on my profile I don't get to chapter 6. I don't make it this far. And it's only certain things. I will take assignments and take them way too far. I turned a final paper for my freshman global class. It's a required course at Elon for freshmen. You have to talk about something, a research topic for 12 pages. I turned that into four years of work. I'm not done with it yet. It is a book. I am writing a book based off of a 12 page paper that I wrote. And I took that same topic or slash idea ish and turned it into my argumentative essay for my college writing class the next semester. Yeah. I take things too far. And it's only certain things. It's this YouTube channel. It's my writing. And it's random assignments that I have to do. And I can already sense one of my assignments becoming way more than it needs to be this year. It's um, a interview an interview with an author in this area that we're doing all we have to do is ask him questions well I had this idea because we have to cut it down to fit in 10 minutes I had this idea of posting the entire footage on this channel it will be in French but I will provide subtitles um, and that's gonna take a lot of editing and arranging and again it's beyond what the professor wants and I won't be graded on it. Why am I doing it? Because I think it'd be a good idea. I need to stop this. If you have suggestions for me to stop doing this and ruining my life and adding too much on my plate, help. Please God, help. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I've got for you today, guys. Oh, wow. Bye, everybody.